okay welcome back again so in the last session we have seen that how to create the roadmap we have also seen the how to create the confluence page we created some dashboard on the confluence page which are currently if you see that is still open on my list. the windows browser one i can see that we created a roadmap whether we i can see the timeline we have also seen that how this pie chart and the type of can be created we created some two dimensional data table where we are able to see the bug story subtask and uh, their status total count we have also seen how to change the value from value on the y-axis and the x-axis so it's totally depend on you that how you uh, you want to use your page now go ahead and uh, create different type of reporting for your project but in this one this session i'm going to touch and the more important and more powerful feature of the atlassian so let's go back to the our the jira page so this is the jira page which is open and i'm currently on the filter 2 filter 2 is just giving me this for all these item in this project simple scrum project board start abbreviation is ssp now let's see if one more interesting thing which is our label these was not available in the earlier version at least up to this flexibility go to the more tab and if you see that there are the option that we can create a teams we have seen that how we can use the other uh, apps we can use but let's see there is one more very interesting option which is called plan so let's go ahead and create a new plan this is very useful if you want to track the overall project plan and see the project progress status from different different perspectives let's try to create this one i'm going to name this one demo plan I'm making the access equal to open. I had work to your plan where I want to add. So there are if you see that last option board project or filter. If you want, then you can select the filter. So let's select the board one. Or if you want, let's select the project. I'm going to use this sample scrum project. Team optional. Let's open the create. We'll see that how it works with the board as well now if you see that it's creating the board for me and you will see that this is very interesting EMS project look like view if you see that if I go to the base from basic view these are different view let's click on the timeline click on the timeline if you see that there are option list and timeline click on the timeline it will give the list when this item need to be completed currently it is to do state if i want to make an in progress from here itself i can do and if you see that i can design that this item should be completed from here to here this one should be from this one okay let's uh, shift it like this one okay this can be run in the parallel up to this one so if you see that it's giving me very very powerful options at how we, i can plan this entire for example i want to complete everything in a particular date not i get till the october so let's say click here click here and if you see that very easily and very power smoothly i'm able to plan everything at which need to be done on which date so if you see that we created a Gantt chart like a thing. Now I want to see what is today. So if you see that today, nothing is in progress. So let's move this one earlier a little bit. If you see that currently it is plan of 31 day. If I want, then from here I can shorten the period as well. So if you see that planning for any project is very, very interesting and very easy using this plan board. Now, if you see that 
using the plus I want that uh, to make a link between this to something else so let's block it is blocked because of this issue and click okay and click on the view dependencies okay so this is now this item is link you see that link item and click and it will give you the this is block click and add dependency again with this one to the last and then again save it so here if you see that created again switch back to the list it will give everything in the listed and if you see that date automatically populate because what I did I drag and drop the timeline from left hand side and this date is all automatically populated and if you see that it also gives you the hierarchical view for example this has some more item if you see that this is listed this is the sub part of 7 is the part of 6 1 if you see this is the sub task and this is the story so this story has sub task if you see that some other story you have here then if you see that this story has two more tasks so if you see that all those tracking is very easy now and it is similar to the MS project the people who have used the MS project MS project is also very powerful tools for creating the project plan tracking and now if you see that this Atlassian is also giving you the similar type of options or level timeline not only those things and if you see that okay see one icon badge here it's in the review changes so what are the changes I did all those linking at listing me that these are the changes I made few minutes back if I click on the select changes then all the changes will be saved all those timeline all those date which I have put here will be appearing in the particular timeline let's open this one and you will see that it will have the date timestamp attached to it okay also see that this is linked to the these two so I'm not uh, going to explore these options go ahead and explore so let's go back to the timeline now if you see that there are other options from edit basic sprint capacity view if you click on then it automatically change that when what is plan this is plan in the sprint 2 this is in the release 3 if I click here I can see the estimate that uh, this is estimated with the two user story this is assigned to the particular team currently I don't have the team from here you can add the story point as well to the stories so these are the flexibility available and if you want to add few more columns so from here you can go ahead and add some columns I want to add the sprint estimation and teams if you want then you can go ahead and match the custom filters let me zoom in and you can create your own filter okay so I'm not going to create a custom field switch back and if you see that these are the options available you can add the assignees this was how to see now let's see what are the options basic view you already seen where it give the listing and it also give you the Gantt chart from here if you see that dependency now if you see that this issue story 3 is depending on these three subtask or story it has one story and one bug so two story and the second story is also depending on and the story so this gives you the how this story when this can be completed this is story 3 this is blocked because of these three and uh, story 10 is blocked because of story 2 and everything is blocked until unless this sp3 12 10 and 1 is completed I cannot complete so if you see that it giving me the options of dependency as well 
and if you want to do you can create this soup directly from here okay so these are some of the options available which you can see from the top so see that explore so you'll be able to see that starting from this one do you want this one assigned to this and when it is time and then progress of issue count how many progress so you can play around with this dashboard this is very powerful the plan view you can do the planning for your releases if you click on here then all those filter will be automatically minimized so that you have maximum view available and you can play around okay from here go straight back to the basic and can play around not only this you can change the view setting I want to color status by rank sort by this one group by assignee dependency badges so number of dependency so these are the different options available which you can use on the dashboard if you want to see the only bar warning it means how many items are currently which is the warning then it will be automatically listed currently I we don't have anything which is on the risk otherwise a risk icon will start appearing over here so see this one was the very powerful feature of the Atlassian Jira Bolt and the plan I would recommend you to go ahead explore other options there are different type of filters as well that you can filter this entire browse down the different criteria from apps you can you should go back and see what are the different other apps available for the Atlassian market some are the free some are the paired so based on requirement you can go ahead and install and play around Okay. so this was all about working with the Jira working with the confluence space working with the plan timeline so we have seen the different options there are a lot of things which cannot be covered in a small course so for the uh, for rest of the activity feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions feel free to write to me on this mail ID go to the page and uh, let's continue the learning thank you